Hey, what's going on everybody out there? This is Jake James Lugo, senior editor here at thecoalition.com. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm gonna be playing a little bit of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. I just got the game today from Capcom themselves for review for the Coalition. Uh, real big thanks to them for doing that. But I not only got my Mega Man t-shirt, but I got Legacy Collection 2. We're gonna explore a little bit about it. Uh, I'm actually going to be posting my review of the game tomorrow on thecoalition.com, a written review that's going to be on the website. But today we're just going to give a little preview of some of the gameplay. We're going to do a little bit of commentary, explore what it has to offer, as well as, all, you know, kind of, you know, see what's up with this game. So one of the things that it has is that it has a couple different games offered in Legacy Collection 2. It's not the si like the same as the six games that were in the first Legacy Collection, but it has Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10. 7 and 8 being kind of like the animeized, or I guess you could say anime styled versions of Mega Man, while the 9 and 10 for Mega Man 9 and 10 go back to the original 8-bit style that was on the NES, very similar for 1 through 6. So besides that though, however, we have not only challenges that you can explore for all four of the games, as well as also a museum that's offered has a whole bunch of different artwork for every single one of the games that are included in this collection. So as you guys can see here, I'm looking at some of the different artwork that's offered in this collection. Now, one of the cool things that you can do with all four of these games is that in the museum you could actually go straight directly to fight any one of the actual robot bosses the robot masters and that's pretty damn cool now i would assume at some point as you play each game and you unlock like the dr wily boss fights and stuff you'll be able to do the same thing with them it would have been nice to have that from the very get-go again because more than likely a lot of people that are going to be picking up this game are specifically Mega Man fans let's go over to Mega Man 8 as you guys can see here the different artwork that they got for like proto man mega man rush as well as Dr. Wily here. Mega Man 9, same thing. Got all these different pieces. Again, it kind of goes back more to the chibi style a little bit. As you can see here for Wily, as compared to like, you know, this type of Wily, it's a little bit more cinematic, I guess you could say. You could say the same thing about uh, Mega Man uh, 7 here. Make a find Dr. Wily if he's in here. Pretty sure he's in here, but they got all like all the enemies and stuff. But uh, again, you guys get the JIT main idea. It was Proto Man base. Pretty cool Mega Man 10 same thing going back to that style but anyway that's pretty cool so you also have in addition to that a music player which is really good you could listen to all the tracks for Mega Man 7 8 9 and 10 just run through any of them as you guys can see here let's just go to Mega Man 8 just again you can listen to that there as you guys are hearing me talk you can pick any one of the tracks that it's got in here the Wily theme the list goes on etc so Let's get a, you know, get away from this stuff and let's actually get to playing some of the games. Let's actually go with uh, Mega Man 8. Just kind of, you know, give a little bit of gameplay here. Mega Man 8. Now, I've actually already started here. You guys, again, I'm going to look show you this menu. We have a number of different options. You can load and save a checkpoint throughout the entirety of the game. One of the things I do not like, however, is that unlike in the first Mega Man Legacy Collection, you're not able to save at any time, which I think is kind of BS. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why they would remove that. It was one of the things that I used a lot while I was playing the original 1 through 6 in Legacy Collection 1. Again, sometimes you're going to mess up. There's no like, re you know, crazy accolades you have to go for or what or anything of the sort. So some people want to be able to save at any time and be able to reload immediately so that way they can just complete the game. But for whatever reason, Legacy Collection uh, 2 doesn't allow you to do that. Uh, in addition to this, you have autosave. You have the ability to kind of like, you know, change the size of the game. So you can put it in its original. You could stretch it up, you know, top down for full or then go full wide for the entire screen. If you have a full screen TV or a widescreen TV. Then you have different uh, backgrounds. Again, very similar to the first Legacy Collection. They're not all that great. I wish there were some unlockable ones, but it is what it is. Then you have a filter to kind of like give that CRT monitor type of feel, which again, depending on which game you're playing on 9 and 10, it doesn't really do much. On 7 and 8, it actually does a little bit more by making some of the graphics or some of the sprites look a little bit better overall. Not necessarily too crazy, but it is what it is. But let's get into some playing right now. Let's get into some Mega Man 8. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Again, the cutscenes for this for 7 and 8, are, I mean, again, they're hit or miss. They're not all that great. As you guys can see here, they're very pixelated. Even on their original format, I'm looking at it at widescreen. But again, they're very old. I guess that they've been recompressed or just, you know, exported out. And they're just not looking the best overall. So they're kind of whatever. It's like looking at an old school anime from like the 80s. The same type of deal. But even though this was done in the 90s, more than likely. But um, as you guys can see here, Jim, just the cutscenes here. They are what they are. And the, uh, what is it? The dubbing is exactly how you remember from back on the PlayStation 1. Same exact deal. 
Nothing too special, nothing too spectacular. There isn't a lot of extras from what I've gathered about this uh, this collection. I wish there was more besides the museum stuff. I wish there like was some extra stuff that maybe you can unlock. Like the Mega Man soccer game that was on Super NES or anything similar to that. I wish that was pretty cool. You know, some sort of reward for playing the games. Besides the challenges, you know, that you get in this collection. So anyway, we're just going to watch through a little bit more of this cutscene. And then we're going to get into some gameplay. Kind of, you know, make this Let's Play a little bit cool. Again, I wish that the, the animation and just the video quality was a lot better overall. Because I feel like it could do a lot better. It could, again, be a little bit more spectacular. Be something a lot more cooler. And, you know, be something that actually shows that Capcom really did a lot of effort into making this a special collection. Because I know there's supposed to be some sort of Mega Man anniversary that was coming up or just passed not too long ago. And one thing I really do hope is that from this, we actually get a Mega Man X collection for Me Mega Man X 1 through 6, if not all the other ones. Oh man, I can't stand Mega Man's voice. The voice acting in this is pretty cringe, I'm not gonna lie. The Japanese voice acting might be a little bit better. I haven't really listened to this in Japanese, but it is what it is. Man, look at that video quality, man. Get him, Jet! Get him, Rush! It's time! Bass is like, no! <laughs> man. So much for 1080p on these cutscenes. <laughs> man, look at that. Look at that face. He's serious. That man is serious right there. <laughs> it goes good old Dr. Light. Man, look at that pixelation. That crazy pixelation. I wonder. Let me actually... Whoops. Well, I was going to... was actually going to put it to its original format there. Let's go with original format. See how this does anything. As you guys can see here, again, original format has that pixel quality, you know. Let's go, son. It's time. Yeah. Just roll down, son. We got that slide, too. Look at this. Let's go. So then we got some cutscene stuff. One of the other things is that sometimes the cutscenes can take a little bit long. There's no way to like really speed it up. I wish there was like an option on one of the shoulder buttons where you could just speed everything up. I mean, you could hold it here and it goes a little bit faster, but that's how it was in the original game. I wish I could just speed through most of this because I've seen it before. So here we go. We got Dr. Light talking to us. Let's go. The Mega Ball. It's a powerful weapon. You're damn right. It better be. Thanks, Rush. Time for some big ups right now. There we go. Let's go, B. Oh, no. We're going to go in here, though. We're going to go in here and get that bonus stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Oh, you know what? No, let's just, just bypass them. So I forget. Sometimes they're more... They're not worth the headache that... See, and then, then that happens. Wow, you see, I knew it. It was, it was going to be more headache than what it's worth. So let's go this way. Oh, yeah. So over here is a secret. Got ourselves a little bolt there. Run over this way. We don't want to go down there. We want to go upwards. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. And that's just, you know, extra energy for our special weapons, which we don't need right now. I just wanted to get the bolt. So let's go back up top. Let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Again, as you can see here, it goes a little bit slow. You got to wait through all that. No, oh, go through. Come through, son. More energy that we don't need. So here we go, mini boss coming up right now. Saving it out. Let's do this. Oh, yeah. This guy thinks he can play with us. Let's go, sir. Gonna charge him. We're gonna smack him in the face. Damn it. Ah. 
Come on, turn around, son. No! Ah. No, son. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mm. We destroyed him, son. That's right. We did it. Yeah, eat that, too. <laughs> so there you go. First mini boss out the way, and then we get some cutscene stuff. And again, I wish I could kind of just, like, bypass most of this. Because, again, I just don't need to see it. I've seen it before. It's nothing too special, nothing too crazy. So, Dr. Wiley, what are you doing here? So we go through all this dialogue and everything else, and then this is when you get to most of the game. Now, as I was saying earlier, in some spots, it won't allow you to save a checkpoint like what I just did. I'll show you, like, when we get to it. There, now. Go through more of this cutscene. Go through all this dialogue. Oh, yeah. Man, Mega Man. A little redundant there, Dr. Wily. I mean, a Dr. Light. Almost confused them there for a second. Damn right, we got it. Let's go. So, one thing I do want to do is put on the filter just to show you guys. This looks a little bit different. It has that CRT feel. You can see the lines there now. So, let's save it out. Save it there. Second file. As guys can see here, again... All that stuff again, you can see the little bit of lines there. It makes it look a little bit more smoother, look a little bit more cleaner compared to without being on the, the filter. As you guys can see here. Again, looks a little bit much more not as clean, a little bit more pixelated. But let's actually go to a different game again, just really quickly. Again, we're coming up towards the 15 minute mark, but let's go to like Mega Man 9 or 10. Let's go to Mega Man 10 just to show you guys again real quickly. And this is in the original format, so you know what? I'm actually going to stretch it out. Put it there. Put a different background. Let's do that background. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Let's do that. Okay, so there you go. So it looks a little bit better. Not as, like, compressed there in the original format. So let's do this. Game start. New game. Let's go with uh, Mega Man. I'm not going to go with Proto Man. Just to keep things... Okay, you go easy or normal, much like at the original Mega Man 10. And then we have all the robot select screen, as usual. Who am I gonna go with? Uh, I'm gonna go with Commando Man. Just to, just to, again, sake of argument. Just kind of wrap up this video, give you guys, again, that little preview. So you guys hopefully got a better idea of what Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 is like. Let's go. And I'm probably gonna do horribly. Damn it, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, get a little bit of health right there. No slide. Nope, jump over to there. Let's go, son. Oh, yeah. Nah. Ah, damn it. I hate, I hate it when that happens. Again, that's a beginner's trap. Sometimes I forget. So it's been a minute since I played Mega Man 10, but anyway, you guys kind of get the idea. Let's just try it again, just for argument's sake. Give you guys a good, clean overview of this stuff. Whoops. Damn it. Oh, okay, no, I could go down this way, I forgot. Damn it, now. I'm over here getting hit for no reason. Doing terrible over here. Get that health, son. There we go. Whoops. There we go. Now, Mega Man 9 and 10, no slide. There we go. Just let it go. Get that big health. There we go. Can't be afraid to take a hit. Ah. Just wait for this thing to go by. There we go. Let's just keep going. Ah, 
damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Ah. Okay, yeah. Because you gotta be careful with that, because that's that trap there. Just sneaks up on you. Just trying to avoid these dudes. Because I don't want to jump on those mines and then have that other dude appear. There we go. Just get that bolt there. Keep it moving. And watch. Here, I know I know what's coming next. Gotta just keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, ah! It is. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. It just... I knew it was going to happen, but you guys get the general idea of Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of insight on it. Again, it's a small little preview. I'm posting up my review tomorrow on the Coalition website so you guys could check it out. Again, it'll be a written form. I'll probably be talking about it over on the Co-op Podcast later this weekend, so let me know what's up. Hit me up in the comment section if you guys want to see more previews like this of different games that are coming out, as well as any other types of games that you guys might enjoy and you guys might get a kick out of. Leave me a like on this video. Subscribe to the Coalition's YouTube channel for all our videos related to gaming and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I just started a new series, TK Spotlight, here on the Coalition YouTube channel and on the website where I'm talking to a variety of different phenomenal individuals that have done a lot for the gaming industry. I hope you guys check it out. There'll be a link in the description box below. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Peace out. Stay epic, everybody.